Hi, I'm Katie, a Hobbycraft artisan and artist. In this video, I will demonstrate some acrylic painting techniques perfect for beginners. Let's get started. If you enjoy this video, subscribe to the Hobbycraft channel and click the bell icon to be notified when new videos are posted. To create the dry brush technique, you need a clean, dry brush. The coarser the bristles, the more texture you can achieve. Pick up some paint and gently wipe the excess on some tissue roll. Apply the remaining paint to the paper using light strokes. You can vary the pressure to create different effects. The dry brush technique is great for creating texture and rough grains, for example painting wood and bricks, texture on leaves and foliage, and even shading and overlays of texture. You can lay down this technique over dry blocks of colour to create depth, texture and shadow. Blending is great for creating organic gradation of colours. To create a blend, you need to work while the paint is still wet. Lay down two colours that will blend nicely together. Take a clean, soft brush and blend the two using soft strokes, pulling the two colours together. If you do find your paint is too dry to move, add a tiny amount of water to your brush and then repeat the blending. You can also add white to aid the blending process, though this will lighten the colours. Blending is a great technique for use in a variety of painting subjects and can make creating a dramatic sky or background really quick and simple. Splattering is a fun technique that can add life and movement to a painting. For a small amount of splattering in a more controlled area, you can load your brush with slightly watered down paint and then using another brush, tap the loaded brush over your painting in the areas you want splatters. For a more dense all over splatter, you can load up the brush with colour and flick the bristles across your painting. Usually a finishing technique, splattering can be used just to add a dynamic edge or it can be used as part of the subject. For example, stars on a night sky or spray over a flower meadow. Using a simple brush technique is an effective way to create consistent flower petals and leaf shapes. Using a round brush, load with paint and apply to the paper, applying pressure and allowing the brush to fan out. As you drag the bristles away, reduce the amount of pressure until you come to the tip of the brush. Lift the brush off. You can repeat these around a set point to create flowers or alternate them up a stem to create leaves on a vine. You can get creative with other tools when using acrylic paint. There are a range of tools available to buy, but you can also use found objects to create texture and interest. You can use a palette knife to pick up your paint and apply it thickly to your surface. Applying the paint thickly is called impasto and is often used in abstract work to create extreme surface texture. You can also use a scraping motion to achieve unique textures. If you do not have access to a palette knife, you can use a plastic store card to achieve a similar effect. You can also use the edge of a card to print line patterns with paint, as well as scrape away paint from your page to add texture. Using a sponge can create a different texture to that of a brush, and you can play about with dabbing and dragging across the page to achieve different results. Like the dry brush technique, sponge application can be added over previous colour to make an overlay of texture. A great way to create clouds is to use a stippling motion with a sponge over wet paint to give a convincing feathered edge. Visit hobbycraft.co.uk to book a workshop, find your next craft project or learn a new skill. If you enjoyed this video, please leave us a thumbs up and we'd love to see your thoughts in the comments below. See you again soon for more videos.